Hi, I'm Raj. I work in IT for a company where innovation can't come fast enough. Last week, our CEO asks us point blank why it takes us so long to deliver services. Adam, our network engineer, starts explaining how provisioning network services is complicated stuff. We have to reconfigure switches, routers, firewalls. One mistake in a config file could affect everything. The boss asks if virtualization would help. I tell him, sure, it does. We can spin up virtual machines in seconds. And he says, no, I'm not talking server virtualization. I mean network virtualization. And he shows us an article on how eBay, AT&T, and Rackspace all reduced provisioning time literally from days to seconds. So he leaves, and Adam says, it's all you, virtual man. Just don't touch my network. OK. I did a little homework and came upon VMware NSX. I installed the software and tested it out. The boss was right. I could spin up a network like I spin up a VM. It was easy. A couple of days later, I grab Adam to demonstrate. Check it out. Here, I add a couple of network segments, some VMs, drop a router in, apply a security profile, and bam, a complete multi-tier virtual network. I can save it, delete it, restore it, just like I do for VMs. He was stunned. He says, what do you mean by a virtual network, a VLAN? And I said, no, not a VLAN, a virtual network. It's just like a physical network, except the network is in software. Our applications don't see any difference. It works by distributing network software in hypervisors across the data center between the physical network and our applications. Just think of it as a network hypervisor. I can connect physical servers or virtual machines to this virtual network that spans across physical subnets and availability zones to wherever compute capacity is available. In a single data center? Or several? So he just tells me I'm adding more complexity on top of everything his team already has to deal with. And I'm like, dude, I just provisioned a multi-tier network environment in 15 seconds. How's that add complexity? He tells me, no, you just drew a picture in 15 seconds that my team has to provision. Nope, already provisioned it without touching the network. Again, just like a VM. Look, the virtual network is only using the existing physical network as an IP backplane. Provisioning network services in software simplifies the underlying network. There's no VLAN, ACL, or firewall configuration changes. Your team gets away from tactical change management and gets back to the real stuff. Network design, capacity planning, and traffic engineering. He's not sold yet. So you're talking about an overlay. What about troubleshooting? I lose all kinds of visibility. Nope. Think about it. Most troubleshooting is caused by manual config mistakes. Automatic provisioning fixes that. And if we find a connectivity problem, we'll actually have more detail about the connected hypervisors. We'll troubleshoot the same way we do now, but faster. So he says, OK, but what about performance and scale? There's no way software networks deliver the same performance as hardware. No, I already tested it. Turns out every hypervisor already has a vSwitch, so there's very little overhead, and I can saturate 10 gig links coming out of the server. In terms of scale, a single scale-out controller supports over 100,000 VMs and over 10,000 virtual networks. That should cover us for a while. Now I can tell his gears are spinning. He says, wow. Decoupling from network hardware and vendor-specific architecture could give us a ton of flexibility. That's true. But we don't have to upgrade our hardware. NSX works on our existing gear. It works on any hypervisor with any cloud management platform. And the best part is it works with our existing apps, unmodified. Right then, the CEO pops in and asks if we've looked into network virtualization yet. And Adam's the one who says, yeah, right here. Check this out. So you might want to check it out for yourself. <laughs>